That's my cue to start the show. Welcome to another Thursday night edition of the Hard Rockin' Sports Show, live from high atop Hard Rockin' Sports Studios in beautiful scenic Monroe, New Jersey. My name's Tommy Florio. We are your weekly three-hour get-together where we bring you all the biggest news from around the worlds of hard rock, heavy metal, and of course, the wide world of sports. And on our phone lines right now is the legendary drummer for the band, Vanilla Fudge, Mr. Carmine Abbasi. Carmine, welcome to the Hard Rockin' Sports Show. How are you doing, Tommy? Carmine, you're an amazing drummer, a Hall of Famer. Uh, you've worked with so many different artists, musicians. You've been on so many different recording sessions. Is there one specific drum fill or drum part that you would like to be remembered for? I told oh, this that... to Tommy Lee. He didn't believe me. The end uh, of rock and roll mm -hmm. is the same thing as the end of my Vanilla Fudge song called Shotgun, except done four years before it. It'll blow your mind. with Ozzy, but only for a short amount of time. Can you tell us what happened? Was there a problem with Ozzy? Did you have a problem with Sharon? That, that, that sort of happens. You gotta read my book, Stick It My Life with Sex, Drums, yes. and Rock and Roll. It'll really tell you all everything you need to know. She told me when she fired me, we came off a great show. She was doing weird things to me. I had my own t-shirts on the Ozzy tour. And then one day, all the t-shirts, the heads were cut off my t-shirts. And one day, the drum riser didn't go down to the front. All the pyro went off while I was still up on top. I almost burned the hair on my arm. You know, wow. I saw so Tommy Aldrich hanging around. I said, what's going on? He goes, well, you saw Tommy hanging around. I said, yeah, well, he's starting the tour on Monday. You're fired. I said, what do you mean I'm fired? She goes, you need to start your own band. Your name is too big. In the end, she fired me, and I ended up in a lawsuit and had me starting my group in Cobra. We're still talking with the legendary Carmine Apice here at Hard Rock and Sports. Check out our website, hardrockandsports.com, for more information on this and upcoming episodes of the Hard Rock and Sports Show. I'm a big fan of the Guitar Zeus compilation album. You know, you're a world-class drummer. You've decided to create something that showcased guitar players. How and why did that come together? It was 92 now. I was trying to get another solo deal. How about if I do a guitar record? get all my friends to play on it. It took me two years. In those two years, I'd run into Brian May. I said, Brian, would you do this if I did it? Yeah, I'll do it. Ted Nugent, I ran into him, he'd do it. The guys in King's X. And those guys drew everybody else in for me. There's one guitar player that stood out to me on the Guitar Zeus compilation album, and that's Steven Seagal. This is an interesting story. Well, Richie Sambora was doing my record, and Richie was doing a charity event, and at the charity event was Steven Seagal. Steven was playing guitar with his blues band, and Richie knew him, and Richie said, hey, you know, I just did Carmine's new Guitar Zeus album. Steven, maybe you should do it. He said, yes. Steven came in in his white limo, and <laughs> dressed up with the Indian outfit. Huge, and he gave me a hug, I almost disappeared. And it was awesome. 